here we are going to study a clutch basically a clutch is a kind of switch uh, just like in electricity we start and stop the electrical current or electrical energy flow by using a switch in mechanical engineering to start or stop the transfer of motion or transfer of kinetic energy we use a clutch so basically a clutch will be sitting between two elements one is the prime mover say a motor or an engine and the other is the load so we can disconnect these two entities at will let us look at the clutch uh, part by part now so we'll start at the input side where the flywheel is situated uh, here i am showing it in a cross section here i am showing the 3d view so in this 3d view you can see this is the flywheel as you know the rim of the flywheel is made heavy to increase its moment of inertia uh, so that you can store kinetic energy in it that also creates this recess here this space in which the clutch resides uh, this is basically the engine side on the left there is engine which is driving the flywheel then uh, coaxial with this flywheel is going to be the output shaft so in the section it will look like this and the point to be noted here is although they are coaxial they are not going to rotate together because there is some clearance a kind of spigot joint uh, another thing to be noticed here is uh, the output shaft is having splines so we can have things mounted on the output shaft which can rotate with it at the same time they can also slide along it so these are our two main elements uh, the flywheel is the input and the shaft which is the output and we need to connect the two at will using a clutch the clutch is going to have a clutch plate here a clutch plate is nothing but a simple plate you know like this uh, which is having some frictional surface some special lining which gives us grip and it is also going to have some splines at the hub so it is capable of rotating with and sliding along the output shaft like this in the engaged condition it is going to remain pressed against the flywheel like this so at that point there will be some contact force there will be some frictional force which gives rise to frictional torque and ultimately the power gets transferred from the flywheel to the clutch plate and to the output shaft but to keep it pressed to develop that contact force between the two we need some agency that exerts pressure uh, between the two so this is called as the pressure plate uh, it is a simple plate as i have shown with some extra studs here uh, the function of which i'll come to later uh, this plate keeps the clutch plate pressed against the flywheel that is done using some springs so the pressure plate is going to have these springs which keep it pressed against the clutch plate uh, like this and to provide the support to uh, this whole thing and a cover there is a cover plate so this cover plate is going to provide a housing or it is going to sort of close this box in which the clutch reside now uh, in the engaged position let us see how the clutch looks the clutch looks like this uh, here is our flywheel pressed against that is the clutch plate that is done by uh, this pressure plate which in turn is held there using these springs so power will be transferred from the flywheel to the output shaft but we don't want that to happen all the time sometimes we want to disengage the two so we should have some means of you know retracting this pressure plate towards right uh, and thereby disengage the two to do that there is some extra mechanism provided so there is going to be a link like this over here then uh, driving that link is going to be a collar which is capable of sliding on the output shaft like this and this collar is uh, moved using some kind of linkage okay which is connected to the clutch pedal so when you press the clutch pedal okay uh, it moves the collar along the shaft the collar moves uh, this uh, link over here and that link is going to retract the pressure plate against the force of the springs that we have so that is how you disengage the clutch finally let's have a quick recap uh, this is our flywheel the output shaft sitting on it is a clutch plate which is pressed against the flywheel using a pressure plate which is held there using the springs and the whole thing is held in a cover plate then for retracting we are going to have this kind of linkages uh, array of them all around the periphery and these links are moved using this sliding collar on the output shaft which is operated by the clutch pedal so this is our entire clutch assembly